Hi there, it's Kaylin Kepner. I am doing a video tutorial on a card using the brand new Sassy Script stamp set from Paper Smooches. Uh, so it's an alphabet set. You're going to get all the letters in Kim's super cute style of handwriting, and these are bigger and bolder than any of the other alpha stamps that she's done. So it's really a fun set, and you're going to be able to make some really cool custom sentiments with it. So I am just folding a regular A2 sized piece of cardstock using my bone folder to make a nice crisp fold there. So it's four and a quarter by five inches wide. And you can see the stamps that I'm using. I'm also going to be using stickers from the My Mind's Eye Mistletoe Magic set. Some stockings and some ornaments. So I'm using the Echo Park This and That Christmas Paper Collection in the 6x6 pad. And there's a really nice ledger paper in there. I think it says like Santa's Ledger or something. Um, so I'm going to be using that sheet for the background of my card. Um, it's a nice neutral color palette, so it's perfect to stamp on. It just adds a little bit of texture and, and adds interest to the card. I love patterns like this. I think they're just perfect for a background. So. I'm just going to mark off the corners with a pencil. This is what I always do. Um, and then just make my cuts from there. So now that I have my background piece trimmed out, I'm going to just adhere it to the base of my card. And I'm using the Tombow Mono Multi Glue. This is my absolutely number one favorite adhesive. It's just the best that I've found. So I'm just going to kind of, I always estimate and just sort of put it down what looks to be about center. You have like such a small amount of time before the glue really sticks down. So I just do my best with this, but it turned out pretty well here. Um, and then I'm going to take a look at my sticker sheet and see which pieces I'm going to use. I kind of looked at it ahead of time and decided that I knew I wanted to use these two stockings as my uh, main embellishments and then add some ornaments and that holly leaf in. Um, I always try to take a little bit of the stickiness off of the stickers because I know I'm going to be arranging them and playing with them before I adhere them down permanently. So I always try to do that. Sometimes I'll like stick them in my clothes or something just to take a little bit of that adhesive off. But now that I've got the pieces I know I want to use, I just kind of play around and see what kind of layout I like, how they should be, if they should be staggered, and how much room I have on my card to fit them. So that's kind of what you'll see me do here. I'm just sort of playing with them and getting them to be just in order and in a shape that I like. So now I have my sticker embellishments kind of in a nice order that I like them. I think that fills up the space nicely and it's just kind of a fun little hodgepodge of shapes and sizes. So now comes the fun part which is stamping using these brand new alphabet stamps. And as you can see I am using some Red Royal Hero Arts Shadow Ink. I love these inks, they're just super high quality, really good. Um, and I'm going to be stamping the word Mary. Um, I love the way that the letter R looks in this set. I just think it's so cute. So that's actually what kind of helped me decide what sentiment I was going to put on here because I just love the way that looked. So now you're just going to see me uh, stamping out my sentiment. And I decided to do it in a little bit of a whimsical way. Um, I didn't want to just do it straight across. I just kind of wanted it to be a little fun and a little bit just sort of wonky. So you will see me do that here. So like I said, I kind of wanted this to be a little bit funky, a little bit different. So uh, when I stamp my R's, instead of just putting them like side by side, I knew there would kind of be a gap there. So I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to kind of do a little 
stair step kind of nesting them together. I just, I don't know, I just liked the way it looked and um, thought it'd be something kind of different. So the stamp set is just, it's so whimsical and just kind of fun. So I thought, why not do something a little bit different with my uh, sentiment treatment. So last up is the letter Y, another really cute letter in this set. Kim just did such a good job of making them each like adorable in their own kind of right. Um, and another thing I love about this set is that as always she includes like a bunch of little extras. It's not just the letters. So she includes these tiny little hearts. So I'm going to use one of those and just kind of add to the background and fill in a little bit of white space and add some texture. So you'll see me do that here. I added just a few here and there. So now that all the stamping is done, I am going to write in just a little word B right on top of the M so that it says B Mary instead of just Mary. And uh, you can see I caught myself. I did not want to do it in marker first. I should always do it in pencil first. I've learned from many mistakes. So just kind of tracing out the word B in a little script and then going over it with my um, really thin brown marker. This one's by Marby. That's one of my favorites again. I'm using a lot of favorites in this one because they're just my tried and true go-to tools. So now that the top portion is done, all the stamping is done, it is time for some foam adhesive. And what would a card be without foam adhesive? I just love that stuff. So I'm peeling up all the pieces that I'm going to foam and then just like really pressing down the two that I'm going to leave flush to the back of the card. That way it just gives the card some dimension. It's not, everything's not popped up. It's just a couple of things and helps draw your eye in and just add some interest. So now everything is all adhered and just how I want it. So I'm just going to erase my pencil marks behind the word that I wrote and that beautiful pencil from Target um, <laughs> left a horrible smudge behind. So I'm just grabbing another eraser that'll clean it up and make it look nice. And that pretty much finishes off the card. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's just kind of something fun and whimsical and it's not too bulky so you could definitely mail it. Um, and definitely be sure to go check out the new stamp set from Paper Smooches. It's called Sassy Script. There's just a million different projects you could do with it, and it's super fun. Thank you for watching. Bye.